und willkommen zurück bei Sarahs Music. Mein heutigen Gast ist ein Musiker mit einer Mission, eine Mandoline-Mission. Der Grammy-nominierte Avi Avital ist einfach der beste Botschafter für sein Instrument und ich freue mich sehr, den heutigen Tag mit ihm und seinen Mandolinen hier in Berlin zu verbringen. Haben, muss Avi mit seiner Mandoline sehr viel durch die Gegend laufen für die Kamera. Heute habe ich gedacht, werden wir stilvoll reisen. <lacht> so, so, tell me, I said that you're a musician on a mandolin mission. Your mission is to bring the mandolins into concert halls. Yes, I think I think there was a, a gap in the history of music where, like, for 200 years, the mandolin was sort of ignored by the by the serious composers, by the major concert hall. And it wasn't because the mandolin wasn't popular; it was a very popular instrument throughout the time, uh, but as an amateur instrument, not as a concert hall instrument. And I indeed think that it has a lot to offer um, in today's concert hall, and and therefore to kind of bring it back. I really didn't know much about the mandolin at all. It's a sort of instrument that um, you sort of know about, but there are so many stringed instruments um, that I wasn't quite, you know, you have to sort of really be sure. It, you've turned it into this sort of cult instrument. People, you sell out concert halls. <laughs> How have you done that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, I think it has to do with, uh, you know, we've all heard and saw so much. We are exposed to so many different kinds of music and different artists through to social media and so on and um, I think we're at the point where a lot of the great classical music has been recorded has been performed yeah. and people are hungry to something new um, when I go on stage um, recently I have this thought in my head that for 80 90 percent of the people sitting in that concert hall is the very first time they hear a sound of a mandolin live and it excites me i know that yeah. this is completely fresh to them and i'm about to expose them to something they didn't know before yeah. and this is this is actually a lot of fun you study with a violin teacher because that mandolin is, is tuned the same as a violin it is so it's perfect to play all their repertoire <laughs> yeah it's true i mean that my first teach, teacher was a violinist because there wasn't a mandolin teacher and um, you know he just happened to be there a teacher and, uh, it's funny, my first teacher was a trombone player. Seriously? So, yeah. What, so, with a horn? Or yeah, with a horn. Like, with the horn. You see? Yeah, because so there weren't any is, horn players. This is the way teacher. to go. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> you live in Berlin. Why did you choose Berlin? I mean, it's obviously a fantastic city <laughs> it's a and it's beautiful, <laughs> but it's a perfect moment to ask. Why did you choose Berlin to live? That is true. I felt that, uh, I mean, when, I, when I'm still living in Italy and, uh, and coming to Berlin for performances and touring, passing through Berlin, I started to realize that was Let's say my first time in Berlin was about 10 years ago. I, I started to realize there's something really special happening in the city. It's going to an amazing phase that we don't know it's going to repeat and how long it will last. And I just wanted to be part of the party. So I think it's about time for a serenade. What do you think? <laughs> Avi, have you ever played your mandolin in a rickshaw before? No. So how about <laughs> it? Be, sure not. <laughs> here we go. I'll put this down here. OK, what should we have today? Something fitting the weather. What a great day. So, Avi, I've never been to a plucked instruments picnic in the park before. This is fantastic. Young so, girl. what do we have here? We have the bouzouki from Greece. Yes, this is the bouzouki. I just brought some of the instruments that I have at home, but obviously I have a a lot of them, so this is the... uh, This is a banduria. This this is where uh, this is kind of Spanish a brand version. New Spanish version of a black string instrument still used for folk Spanish music. 
not very tuned. <laughs> this is a Venetian mandolin. Uh, it is a um, it, it is the instrument that that Vivaldi called the mandolin. That was the pluck string instrument uh, in the Baroque did time. Did you use this on your CD from Venice? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, yeah. And this is the Neapolitan mandolin. It's also a Baroque mandolin. This is how the mandolin looked like in, in Naples of the of the 18th century. Yeah. And, um, and that's actually the, the instrument that survived. So four double strings of metal. This it's is more, what uh, this yours. is how it yeah. ends up in modern yeah. time. But uh, yeah. uh, but yes. This is the one you, you perform on uh, regularly. Yeah. You can see there's this. Uh, can you see that? You can see this is all. It's all really huge. Yeah. I mean, that's where you slide up it's and down. It's not at all. It's not as old it is, as it looks like. It's a modern. It's a modern instrument. It, was it built is a modern. Actually... Yeah. It was built in Israel um, by by this amazing guy, Ari Kerman, who's, who's this acoustician genius, and he decided to to design a mandolin that would fit a, a modern concert hall. So, can I just show this to oh, you yeah. guys? Look. <laughs> This is Avi's pick, his plectrum, and you have them all over your, all over in oh all God, your yeah. trouser pockets. I, for sure. Do they get your washing machine? In the, they're all in the washing I machine. I sometimes get them like all twisted <laughs> from, like, from like the got pockets of my jeans. Of them. I they're... found one in a salad one day. You found one in a salad. <laughs> Yum. Anyway, so but you need you you don't you don't use your finger. You always use the pe the plectrum yeah. or the pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the 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 basic technique is that you pluck you hit the string with a pick. Yeah. And that what makes the sound. If I put it with a finger, it wouldn't okay. have. Uh, so the sound is quite immediate. It's the encounter of a, a hard plastic with a very dense metal. So it's very clear. So what causes these colors in your sound? If you're using a hard oh. piece of plastic. Because there are different ways I can I can I can pluck on the metal if I okay. if I do it completely parallel with sound like this. But for softer sound, I would just play with the angle. There are some some people that have made the mandolin quite apart from yourself made the mandolin quite cool, right? What about yeah. a bit of uh, REM here? <laughs> that saved my childhood. I was like, whenever kids at school said, "Oh, the mandolin is not cool," I had losing my religion to that's what is it? I've learned so much about the mandolin already and now we're at the Berlin arena where there's an electronic music festival going on there is so I mean look at this audience this is not yeah. your normal audience <laughs> not is it? really no quite younger than the average that I get to see you play in all the concert houses all around the world what why is it important for you to play in a gig like this oh this is wonderful I think it brings together um, audience that are not not necessarily used to hear classical music in a space where it it feels comfortable. Places they would normally go to party or to listen to music and uh, now they're being offered uh, different music. You think, think they wouldn't wonderful. feel comfortable in a concert hall? Uh, I think they would. But, if they uh, came. Exactly, yeah. but this is the first, uh, the first step probably towards it. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> That's great. I like the cool one. That is so cool.
Das war's von Sarah's Music für heute. Abi hatte Leute hier, die getanzt haben zu seinem Vivaldi. Ganz toll. Ich hoffe, sie hatten auch Spaß. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss. Abi, there's no getting away from it. You have to take the horn challenge. You can put your hand inside, but that's fine. Okay, I want to look professional. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.